up gang i here with another video with your boy uh today we're gonna be working on the switches inside my truck um let's check them out so um if you guys remember in previous videos i had wired up these switches uh, one's for my amp one's for my fog lights and the other is for my light bar but recently i got the color switching lights on my headlights and I had them install this switch panel here. So I'm gonna move these switches all to this panel. So I will no longer have these three, I'll just have them all there. I'm also gonna be moving this LED strip, which shows me what colors are shining outside on my LED lights, on my headlights. And then this little remote transmitter. So we're at, that's where I point the remote at. Receiver for the color switching remote. I'm just gonna be moving these into here so you can't really see them because it looks kind of ugly just hanging out there. But yeah, you'll see it's gonna look pretty cool in here. It's gonna make all this kind of light up in colors. And yeah, let's get started. We're gonna start by removing probably the bezel because I gotta remove this panel but I can't remove this panel without removing the bezel. So yeah guys, let's get started. All right guys, we got the panel where the bezel removed. All you gotta do is uh, turn on the truck, not all the way, just halfway, you know, where you can s switch it from park to reverse. Put it all the way to first gear, uh, move your steering wheel all the way down, and then just start pushing up on the bezel on the, on the sides. And it's just little clips that'll start popping out, and then you can remove the bezel. I won't be taking it out further than this, just because I do have my uh, wires plugged in in the back, and I don't wanna pull on them. But yeah, if you guys don't have any of that, you can definitely just take it all the way off. I mean, that's what I did for when I uh, painted it. But yeah, uh, we're gonna also start moving this panel. I already unscrewed it. It's just two seven millimeter bolts. And then pretty much the same thing, you just pull on it and then it should pop off. And then I'm gonna start by unwire, un undoing the switches and start moving everything over to this side. So I move the LED strip. And then I'm going to change the colors. So I put the remote. Let's do flashing. And it'll flash like that. Which I think is better. Before it was just flashing down here towards the floor. It's flashing in there, it looks kind of cool. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Moving these over to those. We gotta have me moved over, guys. Moved up the panel, too. Didn't like how it was so low. I'd rather have the hole down here than up here. These are the two switches that turn off when the truck turns off. And then these two switches are the ones that stay on even if the truck is off. So like I can turn it on and they'll turn on. This one controls the LED bar and this one controls the color changing headlights. Which the LED strip is over here now. And then the little control module thing is still right here. But yeah, definitely like how it came out looks way better and I, I, I left the switches on there for now just so I wouldn't have just three holes but in the future I either want to get a new one or I'm gonna see if I can just cover these holes up with uh, some Bondo but we'll see if I find a cheap one I'll probably just replace it and repaint and everything but yeah guys no panels in have these off if I want, it doesn't matter, they'll turn off either way when the truck is off. Um, I do have my AC switch here, I'm thinking about moving it to one of these since these two are empty, but we'll see, I might get other lights, I might have to need these two, but yeah, put everything back together, looking good. I'm really excited to see what this light looks like at night. 
um, probably give you guys a, a look when it gets darker see what it looks like and then look uh, at the night what the lights how bright they are or how they work at night but yeah that's it for right now guys uh, I'll catch you guys back later when it gets darker so right now we're gonna be cleaning the bed I bought some uh, awesome spray all-purpose concentrated cleaner degreaser spot remover I'm gonna be spraying it all over the bed and then uh, just washing it off with the hose see how much of the dirt and gunk it gets off and yeah we'll move from there if it needs any more I'll probably take it to a, take it to a car wash car wash it off but if that does the job then I'll just leave it like that and touch it up all right let's see how see how it goes so you can see I've already sprayed this part of the bed and it's already working so let's get the rest of the bed That's gross. All right, let's keep it going. So I'm just gonna use this garden hose, rinse off the bed, see how that looks, and then maybe spray it one more time. We'll go from there. Damn, what do you guys think? I think it looks already a hundred times better. I mean, obviously, paint's peeling, but it's clean. Can't deny that. I think I'm gonna give it one more go with the degreaser, just to get it 100% clean. But yeah. Good. Let's get it. This is where I'm at right now. I'm done with all the, the walls, the tailgate. And halfway through the bed, as you can see, that half is pretty much done. So I'm gonna do this half. Almost there, guys. I'm done. Let's keep going. Well done, guys. What do you guys think? Decided to go with the black notches instead of red this time. Yeah, all done. Probably want to come back from Vegas and save up some money, 
get the dog house down right here in the middle so it covers up the notches and covers up the hole in the middle we'll be cutting out all the bed in the middle and just putting like a little tub that'll look pretty sick but yeah we'll definitely we'll do that when i come back from vegas i like it Alright guys, well all we gotta do is just wait for the sun to go down a little more. Once it gets dark, I'm gonna show you guys that LED light inside the interior. See how they came out. And we'll see how the, the switches light up at, at night. Alright guys, see you guys later. Alright guys, we're on the truck. We're gonna turn on the switches. Boom. That's what it looks like. I want to change the color. I can. So pretty much whatever light you see inside here is whatever light it's shining outside. That's pretty much the purpose of this strip. But yeah, I like it better here to be honest than just hanging down lower here where it was. But yeah, it looks good. And that's what the switch looks like now. This is the other one that turns on. Um, the middle ones don't turn on when the chunk is off. Just because when the chunk turns off, these turn off. But I can turn these on whenever because this is for the light bar. This is for the color changing headlights. But yeah. But that's it for today, guys. Uh, make sure to comment and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Dope Theft. Follow me on my other Instagram, one slow HD underscore bowls. Make sure to comment, subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell button. Get all my videos. And don't miss one. Um, I'm also still doing that raffle till next week. So don't forget to buy yourself some tickets. Remember, new headlights for uh, Silverado or Sierra. If you have either of those, you can choose to win the 200 bucks. Each raffle ticket is only $4. So don't forget, guys. Catch you guys in Vegas, whoever's going to Las Vegas uh, truck invasion. And yeah, have a good day, guys. Peace.